first question I want to address is why are dysautonomias hard? And there are several reasons for this. And uh, one is, as you're probably all aware, uh, dysautonomias are multidisciplinary and a patient could, uh, could come to, uh, to a, a cardiologist uh, for uh, orthostatic uh, intolerance, uh, but the cardiologist isn't trained about the autonomic nervous system. The cardiologist is looking for heart rhythm and rate problems, heart failure, hypertension, something like that. Or the patient could, could go to a neurologist, but the neurologist isn't trained in, tra trained in autonomic medicine. The neurologist is looking for seizures, Parkinson disease, Chiari malformation, neuropathy, something like that. The same thing can be said for endocrinology, GI, psychiatry, et cetera, et cetera. All these uh, disciplines don't involve formal training in autonomic medicine. And they all involve uh, interests uh, uh, in other uh, aspects of the discipline uh, in endocrinology, looking at diabetes or thyroid problems and so forth. And this is part of the reason that dysautonomias are hard. Dysautonomies are complex. So this is a diagram of what happens when you just simply stand up. And there's a zillion uh, autonomic function tests, and some of them will be, uh, some of them will be demonstrated here today. But it's very difficult to figure out which tests are uh, are good for which, uh, for workups of which problems. And, uh, and the, the area is full of difficult pronunciations such as dysautonomia, which uh, I uh, transliterate there as dysautonomia, uh, and catecholamines, uh, uh, which uh, I'll be talking about some. And there are many, many abbreviations. And unless you already are an expert in the field, you're not going to be able to understand the, the, the uh, the topic because of these abbreviations. And dysautonomias are mind-body disorders. This is not a, a kind of a situation where uh, there's a, a psychiatric uh, issue or a somatic issue. Uh, uh, the, the, these are essentially mind-body disorders, and that's not the way that uh, traditional medicine is uh, is set up, and there's uh, uh, a, a gross discrepancy between the patient demand, which is in the United States anyway, immense, compared to the supply of trained uh, clinicians. So uh, this is, uh, I think, why dysautonomias are hard, and uh, I'm hoping that by the end of this introduction uh, to autonomic medicine course, at least some of these, uh, some of these difficulties will have been uh, uh, met to some extent.